Hey, Nerdy Sports Fan here. We're talking week 16 NFL action. So it's Fantasy Football Championship week. I'm in it, are you? Yeah, so this week we've got the Cincinnati Bungles going up against the Miami Dolphins. They are bad. <laughs> they're, they're really bad. Um, but hey, you know, you're watching this video for a reason. So obviously you need some fantasy advice uh, because neither team matters. But anyways, um, Cincinnati's offense is an offense. Um, they need to rely more on Joe Mixon. They can't because their offensive line is terrible. Um, so they always end up in a position where they have to sling the ball around all over the place. And TJ Boyd reaps the benefits of that. So Mixon and Boyd. That's what you should have taken out of that. Um, as far as Miami goes... Uh, trading away Kenyon Drake really made the running back room nothing worth talking about at all. Laird was their leading rusher last week. Their leading rusher on the season is Ryan Fitzpatrick. So don't start a Miami running back. But Devontae Parker has turned into an every week number one must start. And it's because... Exactly like he's done everywhere he's been, Ryan Fitzpatrick is a gunslinger that ends up finding a number one target that he loves. And he will force the ball into the guy. So, is it bad for football? Yes. Is it bad for Ryan Fitzpatrick? Yes. Is it good for Devontae Parker? Absolutely. So, start that man. Okay? He's going to get the ball thrown to him regardless of what's going on in the defense. Because Fitzpatrick will take that risk. Every time. So yeah, start him. <laughs> He's a must start. I don't care who your other receivers are. This guy is going to go off. Especially in this game against the freaking Bengals. Are you kidding me? Bengals are terrible. So yeah, Parker's going to put up stats. Conversely though, on the Bengals side, they're going up against the freaking Dolphins. The Dolphins are terrible. So Joe Mixon is probably going to have the best game of his freaking life. He's a great running back. He's just behind a terrible offensive line. They are really, really freaking bad up front in Cincinnati. So Mixon, he gets to show off his dazzling moves, but it's always behind the line of scrimmage, and he's shaking somebody so he can just make a positive play. He needs to be able to do that five yards upfield, shake somebody so he can get into the end zone. That's what you want to see out of the dude. But the offensive line is so bad, they never give him that opportunity. He will make bank in this game, though. Joe Mixon will get his nut against Miami. If there's ever a team he's going to get it against, it's Miami. So the most significant thing going on in this game is draft position. Cincinnati wants to hold on to that number one so bad. So I think, honestly, a young coach will be conned into making the stupid mistake of not actually coaching to win. It can happen. I've seen it happen. It might happen this game. So there's a chance that Zach Taylor doesn't actually coach to win this game. That's the only worry for fantasy production. It's worth the risk, though, against a bad Miami defense to start Mixon and start Boyd. They're going to have the best games of their year as long as Zach Taylor is coaching to win. I'm worried about it, so it's a risk play. In Miami, Devontae Parker is the only person worth starting, but you absolutely need to. The guy's going to get so many targets, and he's very, very talented. So he has a chance for a multiple touchdown game every game because he's the only direction Ryan Fitzpatrick is looking in every play. That's, again, bad for Fitzpatrick, bad for the Dolphins, great for Parker and Parker's owners. So put him out there and you're going to have a good time. As far as the betting line goes, it really doesn't matter. That's why it's one point favorite for the Dolphins. They're only a one point favorite because they're playing at home. I don't understand why they're only a one point favorite, though, because the Bengals are only a one win team. They're both really bad. Vegas doesn't care about the line, neither should you. Um, but I have Miami beating that. Yeah, they're likely to win. 
because they're still going to play to win regardless if they're coaching to win because they're not trying to hold on to the number one draft spot. They already know they're a few down from that, and that's okay because they're still going to get what they want out of the draft in that position. They, Generally speaking, by this point in the season, teams like Miami have given up on getting Joe Burrow this year. Might still get Chase Young. So, yeah, that could be real good for you. Anyways, um, yeah, like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. And hit up the rest of the videos I've got for more fantasy football advice. Thanks, guys.